okay guys welcome back to our new video uh, this video is basically about the analysis of the bridge uh, if you remember in the previous video we learned how to model a simple two span bridge with just one band and uh, the single span bridge was 35 feet wide and uh, 200 feet long and uh, now in this video we will learn how to analyze this bridge under the uh, influence of uh, moving live load or vehicle load right the bridge can be analyzed for the temperature loads and other loads it can be analyzed for the seismic load etc and i will try to cover these things in the next video but this video mainly focuses on the uh, effect of moving live load on the bridge and uh, we will perform its analysis all these steps will be performed here so once you have modeled the bridge now uh, there is a first step that uh, you have to define the traffic lane right till now we uh, uh, we haven't touched these uh, options the lanes the vehicles and vehicle glasses so there are two options uh, that you can define the lanes and vehicles one from the bridge menu and the other one is from the defined menu in the defined menu when you go to the bridge load so here you can see that the same options the lanes the vehicles these are also here available right so uh, let us go to the first thing uh, to define the traffic lane uh, please keep in mind that the traffic lane is defined uh, uh, in uh, reference to the uh, the uh, center line of the bridge right so in this case this is the center line of the bridge right and uh, we have to define two lanes one each at each side of this uh, uh, what we called as the center line of the bridge right or layout line of the bridge so just go to the bridge menu uh, and select the option lane add new lane defined from layout line we want to define from layout line right uh, it is lane one the coordinate system is global units are okay the lane load discretization lengths are good uh, lane load discretization parameters are good in both the directions now i have to define the lanes so at zero uh, the first lane uh, uh, will have the offset of its center line from the uh, uh, center line of the bridge is eight feet and the width of the lane let say it's a 12 feet right so i have added it now this is the one point of the uh, lane's center line i have to define the second point and which is at the end of the bridge and length of the bridge is 200 so as soon as i click it you can see that a lane has been added to uh, let's say a lower side of the center line of the bridge right so just click ok and you have added one lane now i have to add the second lane so uh, keep uh, the things same all these parameters need to be same and i have to add the sa second lane uh, which is uh, the first point will be at zero and uh, this time uh, since the other type other uh, second lane is on the other side so it should uh, be minus eight right and the lane width should be the same 12 and i will click add and uh, the second point which is at 200 okay so i will click add and i have defined now the color here the display color is white i want to make it uh, yellow so this lane is added on the upper side click ok click ok and you have defined see the two center lines one at each side now you can uh, just change uh, whether you want to see the center line or you want to see the whole uh, lane width right so you can do it from the display option just uh, select show lanes and uh, instead of center line only click the show lane width and here you will see both the lanes right now you have defined the lanes just go to the vehicles and from here you can uh, uh, add a general vehicle please keep in mind in general vehicle you can do whatever you want uh, the load length is it fixed it is load leading it is it trailing is it variable the distance you can define the distance between the axles you can define the uniform load you can define the width of the uh, vehicle you can define the axle load whatever you want to define you can do it by yourself okay there are no restrictions in this general load the length effects 
the distance allowed from excel load the usage etc all the things are uh, dependent on the user so in my case i am not going to the general vehicle i am going for the standard vehicle the vehicles uh, defined by the uh, ashto right so there are different vehicles for the military vehicles hs vehicle hl vehicle so i will add three vehicles hl 93m okay and uh, i will add hl 93k okay and i will add hl 93s right now you have added all the three and if you want to see what these are actually so just click on modify or show vehicle and show as general vehicle so it will show you that okay the hl 93 m is basically a two axle truck right this is the plan she see the plan and uh, this is the elevation so the x axle load is also mentioned here 33.25 kips right the units are kip fit and the width of the vehicle is 10 feet and uh, the length is 4 feet right so you can check uh, other types of loads as well for example hl 93k you just click here select this and it will show you that it is a three axle load three axle truck right with the loads given here and similarly the third one as well so uh, you have added them now after adding the uh, vehicle see it also becomes visible the vehicle classes so click on it add new class add this add the second one and add the third one as well now you have added all the three loads to your class uh, you can uh, change the name if you want for example just uh, for instance make it as hl because all the loads are hl right highway loading uh, it's uh, astro terminology rfd now we are done with this menu uh, where uh, we have to deal with the bridge loads now uh, just click the load patterns and uh, i'm just showing you this that you can play uh, here as well uh, you can just go to the what you say that uh, others uh, sorry more and you can uh, check the moving load from here bridge life okay so for bridge life you can uh, give it any name and you just add it and uh, it will be added as a new load pattern so bridge live load you can add new load pattern to it if you want also uh, the load combinations can be played in load cases let me show you add new load case i want to add a new load case and uh, i want to give it as a moving load load case name okay and the type is moving load right uh, please make sure that there are two lanes loaded the hl is the name that was given to the vehicle class if you remember i will add it and i will click ok so i have added this uh, uh, load case as well ok uh, also you can add load combinations if you want you can add new combo it's up to you where you can select dead ml which is the moving load and if you remember from the modeling video it is the uh, uh, pre-stress tendon okay so uh, also you can add the default design combos uh, let me take you here for example we are dealing with the bridge design click the bridge design and set load combination data so i hope you people have taken this uh, course of uh, bridge design where you uh, have learned that uh, the there are various limit states in the design of bridge the strength one two three four five limit states are in uh, strength the four limit states on service or serviceability two extreme event limit states and one fatigue limit states are there so you can check uh, any of them or you can check all of them and you can just click ok and it will be added to your load combinations right and it will appear over here and it will run the analysis for that in my case i don't need as of now also i only need to make sure the bridge responses i want to save the result for all of them and i will click ok now it is uh, ready for to run uh, the analysis and uh, uh, just uh, click this arrow and make sure that uh, 
you run only those cases that you want to uh, run okay if you want to run it or not it's up to you i want to run it and uh, it will take some time and in the meantime i will take you to the other uh, window where, where i have already run the analysis on the model and that i have showed you uh, at the start of this video where you can see that uh, different types of stresses can be seen and uh, it's this video right and uh, let me take you that once you get the analysis results then you can go to the display and you can go to this show bridge forces and stresses right just click it and a window will appear uh, I think the analysis is running in the other window so it will take some time or uh, I don't know whether it will be work for working or not but uh, uh, yeah thanks so you can see that uh, all the data you just make sure that uh, it's there select stress and uh, select that uh, so this is your here you can see the envelope and just go along the length and you will see the variation in the bending moment right positive at the top to negative and then positive and vice versa at the bottom so this uh, that's how you can ch check the bridge stresses also you can go to the uh, shell stresses you can select whatever you want to see shell stresses resultant forces or concrete design click ok and you will get the uh, required uh, graphical display or uh, whatever suits you okay so uh, this was uh, all about the live loading analysis uh, and uh, i will try to come up with uh, another video where i will try to cover up some more topics and will try to get into more details so please comment on it and let me know that uh, what else you want uh, regarding this video or regarding this topic thank you very much take care